doctor, believe it or not. He said, hey, Ronnie, come over here and take a hold of these handles and pull them out. And I looked down there and I went, no, I said, I'll pull his head off. <laughs> and he said, no, they're a lot more resilient than what you think. Well, true story, I reached down there and I took a hold of those handles <laughs> and I just give a little bitty tug and I just pulled him out. And that was the most primitive thing I've ever seen in my life. But I gotta tell you, I stretched him to six foot five. But I have known this young fella, good Lord, I guess, what, 35 years or more? Yeah, I think I was about 12 years old. You were. <laughs> but I love that song. You know, this guy, uh, you probably know this, he wrote uh, Ace, Ace in the Hole for George, of which that's the name of George's band, which is kind of cool. You have a wonderful history in the music business. So well, how's that grandpa thing go? Well, it's a grandpa for president. It just talks about, you know, how we need somebody like with those old time values in there these days, you know. How's it go? So, I, I wasn't here. Uh, he looks just like Abe Lincoln when he let, when he let his whiskers grow and he was honest as George Washington, you know, I mean, it just goes on down the line. Man, I, I'm sorry I missed that. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> Me and Dennis are talking. Dennis just told me backstage, he said, Ronnie, there ain't no paper in there. <laughs> yeah, get the spotlight.